uh, why shouldn't uh, Donald Trump have those documents? What is the um, the classification? of documents, the control of information by institutions that no longer have our trust seems to be a more important issue than this one. Michael, what do you think about the the, the current case? Yeah, I mean, look, I think that this case, like a lot of others, um, raises some serious questions around uh, the abuse of power uh, by government officials. Um, I don't know the specifics of it, but I think that when we look at sort of the cases that we've been following, whether it's the COVID origins, whether it's the Hunter Biden laptop, Russiagate, many other issues, we're seeing the institutions, and we've seen now in Britain that they were that the, the UK government was engaged in similar censorship activities as the US government. We've been also talking about the FBI whistleblowers. I mean, we are seeing significant abuses of power, uh, disinformation, censorship coming from our governments around the world. It's just time to we need reform. I mean, we need to clean house. These government institutions are being run by people who act like they own them or that they have some special privilege. But we need to reassert our democratic rights over these very powerful institutions, because I think the evidence is growing that that we've been lied to for many years um, and that the people that have been lying to us have also been trying to censor us.